I found myself at some poolside bar one night. I can't remember the name of it. Mainly because it was never clear to me whether it was actually part of the nearby hotel or separate to it. I met the owner, Stelios. He was a pretty warm guy, even in a language that he struggled with. His English wasn't bad. It was the fear of not being comprehensible that held him back. When we talked, I found that my English became broken as well, as if to meet him in the middle is compensation for not knowing a word of Greek. Then again, it could be something I picked up from Patricio and his charm with the Arabic people we met in Jordan. Stelios taught a lot about his home island of Mykonos, how the summer was three quarters of the year and the winter wasn't actually a winter. He laughed with shock when I told him about the contrast of London and Wales winters. I mean, compared to what he was accustomed to. Looking at him, I'd say he was early 40s. He had the look of a boy that never let go of his youth and simply chose not to acknowledge the man that looked back in the mirror. But he spoke with the sobering sadness of an elder, warning the young that youth is wasted on the young. After I finished my food, he rolled a cigarette across the table to me. He stood by my side as I sat looking across the table out at the pool. Not a wave or ripple in it. Totally calm. Stelios looked out at it too as he spoke. He spoke calmly, as if his voice would disturb the water. You know, my friends, they have children now. We partied a lot from 17. I was partying at 17 until I was 37. 20 years. Smiling as he said it. I don't regret any of it. A lot of good memories, he said, tapping his temple. I smiled. I found myself questioning whether he was warning me or complaining to me. When we get together, we spend the evenings enjoying each other's company and asking each other, do you remember this? But they have kids now. I've got this place. I thought about my friends and how our conversations always devolved into stories about when we were younger. Half the length of time the Stelios reminisced about. I was sort of bad company, but I had nothing to talk to some friends about other than the past. <laughs> Stelios smiled warmly and tapped his temple again. Memories. If you don't do it now, you'll regret it when you're older, my friend. As he said that, his wife, her name wasn't Hannah, but it sounded like Hannah, appeared behind us. She ran her arms around Stelios's waist. Like the water of the pool, Stelios smoothly spun her around him and firmly held the arch of her back as he bent them over at the waist and then braced for a kiss. I clapped playfully for them. She smiled and went back to the bar. Stelios smiled once more and tapped his temple whilst looking at me knowingly. Memories. <laughs>